How to wire Zonvav made simple. Hello and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how I wired a four wire Honeywell Zonvav. This is what I've started with. We have this bird nest of wires over here going every which way. Looks confusing as can be. And we have one, two, three zone valves to replace. Now that the zone valves are replaced and the system's purged, the next step is to wire these zone valves. Before I show you how I wire these zone valves, I'm going to show you a simple wiring schematic to give you an idea on how the electrical current is controlled. So what we have here is a power source of 120 volts coming in to a transformer. Once it comes into the transformer, we have 24 volts going through the line that are controlled by a thermostat. And the thermostat is simply an on-off switch. When it calls for heat, the switch will close, completing the circuit, going to the zone valve. In the zone valve assembly, we have this electric motor. This assembly has four wires. Two wires to the motor, which one's coming in, and one wire is going back out and back up to the transformer. So again, we have 120 volts coming in, 24 volts coming out. The thermostat's controlling the current to this motor, which has two wires that are being connected, one to the thermostat and back up to the transformer. Now, for the other two wires, therefore this end switch. In the zone valve assembly, this end switch is nestled behind behind this little piece of cardboard that's up here and two wires are connected to this end switch and we can see where they come out over here these red wires that's for this end switch once power is applied to this motor via the thermostat it moves an actuator which allows the flow of water to go to that particular zone in addition to that it triggers this end switch this little button over here gets pushed down and the two wires that are connected to it you can see them coming down over here go to the aquastat then that aquastat will power the circulator pump which will push the water through the system now that we have that out of the way let's go to the boiler and get this wired up all right we're down at the boiler room and the first order of business is shut the power off I cleaned this up over here, we have the new thermostats installed, the old wiring was removed, and now to wire this up. You can see I have the wires numbered. This is the second floor where the bedrooms are, the first floor, the kitchen, the dining room, living room, and this one down here is for the downstairs. What I'm going to do is wrap these together, and this is the wire that goes to the aquastat. Now, I want to take these and braid them together just to keep it neat. I just have it bundled together. And I'm just wrapping it loosely. It's not a, it's not a tight wrap. These wires here for the aquastat, each one of the red wires coming from the zone valve has to be connected to it. So we'll take one from this bundle, one from this bundle, and one from this bundle here. I'm just putting these together loosely for now, just for the video, and I'll come back to tighten them up later. There's a wire nut. Again, that should be tighter, they should be twisted together. Now, we have the other red wire from each bundle. Once you have all three together, you get the wire from the aquastat. And we get the second wire from each bundle. One, two, three. Now we have the wires for the electric motor that have to be connected to the wire from the thermostat and connected to the transformer. I have this wire that's not connected yet. 
And just to go over it again, this is the wire coming down for the thermostat. We happen to have three because there's three zone valves. So the wire from the thermostat's coming down. It's being connected to the transformer. You have power coming to the transformer. The wire from the thermostat gets connected to the transformer. And it also gets connected to the zone valve. To complete the circuit, the second wire from the motive inside the zone valve comes out and gets connected to the transformer. That's your connection for the motive inside the transformer. From the switch, you have two wires coming out from the switch and they get connected to the wire that goes back to the aquastat. And in this case, we have three. So again, three wires are connected to the two wires from the aquastat. Three on one leg, three on the other leg. This wire has to be connected and that's it. I like to tidy this up a little bit more and it's all set, ready to go. So the zone valves were changed. It was rewired. The system was purged. There's heat in every one of the rooms. I did install all three new shutoff valves. This valve over here isn't being used, but I used the adapter just to keep the spigot. And that's a wrap. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. If you found this video useful, let me know. Give it a like. Share it with someone else that might be able to find it useful. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. It's a tremendous help when you subscribe, give a like, post a comment. Good, bad, and different. Let me know what you think. Until next time, stay warm and be safe.